Babe, wake up. We got a new Kaido leader. Hello everyone, my name is Sashev Chaz and welcome back to yet another One Piece card game video. Well, we finally got another multicolored leader that's been revealed and it is none other than Kaido himself rocking the blue and purple. So we're going to talk about his effect and also what kind of cards you can use alongside his effect because his effect is really strong. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribing if you can if you want to keep up to date with more One Piece card game news and One Piece card game product openings because the starter decks are going to be out on Friday and I'm going to be opening every single one of them. As soon as I get my product, I'm going to open it on this channel. So without further ado, let's take a look at the new Blue Pearl Kaido. So this is the new Kaido leader. It's blue and purple and it looks awesome. So it has 5000 power with the striker attribute, but it has 4 life. So similar to the red green Luffy. And he's part of the 4 Emperors and the Animal Kingdom Pirates. And his ability is Dawn 1. During your turn, once per turn, when one of your opponent characters is KO'd, you can add one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and set it as active. Whew. So there's a lot to unpack there, but all essentially, as long as you have one Dawn attached to Kaido and you KO one of your opponent's characters, you can ramp yourself by one Dawn. And it's an active Dawn, not a rested Dawn. So this card is actually really, really strong. So first of all, the two cards that benefits the most from uh, having this Kaido leader is Who's Who and King. They are both from the Kaido starter deck. They both have a Dawn uh, on play ability, but Dawn minus one to KO one of your opponent's character cards. And if they do that, when you have a Dawn attached to this Kaido leader, you just automatically gain the Dawn back and in active mode. So, so there's a lot of things that you can do with this purple and blue Kaido and it's really strong. It seems like it's leaning towards the control archetype, which I think it should be because blue has a lot of very annoying event cards that you can use in this deck now, as well as purple has a lot of on like KO effects that you can potentially have in the future. Now, just looking at this Kaido first, um, you do want to kind of prevent your opponent from attacking into you because you have only four life, so you do have to play very defensively at the start. But once you get the ball rolling, once you get all the Dawns active again, and you get more Dawn than your opponent, it's still good. And you can still play on a Gashima in this deck to kind of ramp you even further because he is also an Animal Kingdom Pirates type leader card. So you can have the best of both purple and blue in this deck and it is so good. I think for all the control type players out there, this is the leader for you. Even though you're starting at a lower life, you're definitely going to get the advantage over the long game. And not only that, you get access to a lot of really, really good blue cards. For example, Mihawk for, for any sort of card draw. You have the seven drop Do Flamingo to kind of bounce something back to your opponent's hand. You even have the event cards like Love Love Beam and also Sables from the blue starter deck to kind of just be in this deck and just be as annoying as possible. So your aim is to just either destroy your opponent's creatures or return some of his problematic threats to the hand and your opponent can't even do anything to play against this leader. You can also include the 9 and 10 drop Kaido in this deck as a big finisher because you know control archetypes need that one big uh, boss monster to kind of finish the game and you know the 9 drop Kaido is great 10 drop Kaido is great because you're clearing all the stuff anyway oh man this is super super fun and you know what when I saw it like my my aggro heart was just like oh this is gonna be a pain to deal with because I think this blue and purple Kaido will definitely be one of the main archetypes in the first set at least at least in the meta game because of how strong it is and I'm pretty sure people are excited to make this purple blue Kaido work and not only that the Japanese Twitter account did also reveal this alternate art of Kaido and it looks really really sick it's kind of the treatment for all the alternate art leaders recently where they have a little bit more zoomed in versions of the characters and this Kaido just looks like he's screaming like Rah! ready to control some boss with his ability but I do think that this Kaido has the potential to be one of the strongest decks in the main game whether or not you can offset early aggression from some of the rush decks that have been planned out I don't know it's up to the individual player but in the long in the long game I think this Kaido definitely has threats to finish the game wipe the whole board and just swing in with the big Kaido it's super super good 
So just a short update for me, I just really wanted to talk about this purple and blue Kaido. It's great that they are showing more leaders from the main set and I cannot wait to see what the rest of the five leaders are because we've already seen three and there's a total of eight, so there's five left, right. I'm still kind of hoping that there is going to be like a red blue leader so you can be aggressive but you can also make use of the tempo cards. I don't know what or who will be the leader but I'm really really excited to see if there's something like that in the future. But time will tell but we'll definitely find out more in the future and when that leader drops I'll definitely make another video about it. So let me know what you think about this purple Kaido. Do you think you will play it? Do you think it's strong? Uh, am I overvaluing it a little bit? Because I do think that this Kaido leader is strong and it's definitely worth considering uh, playing this over the just the normal purple Kaido. But that's it for me for today. Let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with more One Piece card game news and card product openings. Until the next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.